everyone, welcome to Year 3 Maths, I hope you're keeping well. We're going to be looking at fractions today, hopefully you've been following the White Rose Maths resources and it would have started with fractions this week. We're going to start though with a mental warm up, times tables again, then I'm going to introduce fractions to you, there's going to be a little challenge, and then we're going to talk about equivalent fractions, and then there'll be a final challenge. So the mental starter today is going to be times tables again. So I heard last week lots of you love the times table clock. So this is another way of learning your times tables. To do this, you need a pencil and paper. You'll need some way of timing yourself um, and then you'll be ready to go. So if you need to go and get those bits, pause now. If you've got those bits already, carry on. So the way the starter works is you're going to choose a times table you need to work on. So last week I worked on my fours. So this week I'm going to have to go on my eights because I know I can double my fours. The idea is you're going to set a timer for two minutes and you're going to try and write out your times table as many times as you can by going once eight is eight, two eights are sixteen, three eights in two minutes. So I would like you to set your timer and then press pause on this and go for two minutes how many times you can write your times tables and I'm going to have a go too. goodness me you've finished already oh look at that I got to nine times eight is 72 so look how many times I managed to write my eights out in two minutes you could try that again and see if you can beat how many times I reckon I could next time at least get to 12 times eight the second times around so well done for having a go and keep practicing that with different times tables so first we're going to recap what a fraction is now I always think of chocolate I think of cakes and I think about splitting bits into equal parts. So when we talk about fractions, we talk about a whole, which is this number here, and part or parts. In this one, this number here is also called a denominator. And I'm going to get you to say the word denominator like you're a robot. You say denominator, because that's the whole. And then this is called the numerator. And this is the part or how many parts, okay? The key is they must be equal parts. Have a little think, what other fractions do you think you could write down on your piece of paper? Okay, so you might have come up with one third. So three is the whole and then one part is coloured in. You might have come up with two thirds. So three is the whole two parts coloured in, you might come up with one quarter. Sometimes we say one fourth, don't we? Because it sounds like that, but we try and use the word quarter. That's your whole, that's your part. Hope you've come up with lots of other fractions. So, little challenge. True or false? Are these equal? These show one half. Mm. So they all show one half, are they equal? These show one third. Hmm, are they equal? That's an interesting one. These show one quarter. Are they equal? So have a, have a little think. You might want to call this number one, number two, number three, maybe A, B, C, A, B, A and B. So have a think and pause there. Okay, so hopefully, is this should be a half because it's two equal parts. Hmm, is that true or false? I think that's false that side is not equal to that side I hope you spotted that one that wouldn't be very fair would it okay one third that means there should be three equal parts oh there are three parts but are they equal now I did this one deliberately because I saw this in a test booklet the other day well how's the way we could test this one the only way we could do it is actually measure it and work out the area but first I first glance I'm not sure if that's equal so I'd have to measure it first these show a quarter, so that's in four equal parts. One, two, three, four, but that's not equal. So be careful with some of those. Okay, that's tricky. Okay, so get some fun now. You need to get some Lego out. So pause here and find some Lego. Okay, your first challenge is can you show me half of one colour and half of another? So could you make a shape that's say half red and half blue, or half pink and half red? Ooh. I think one. Can you describe that shape? Half pink and half blue. Ooh, I've got another one I could try. Is that 
still half pink and half blue is equal and there's two parts. This is still. If I mix this around, half pink and half blue. I think it is. You could challenge yourself. What about thirds? Look, one third something and two thirds something else. There you go. Ooh. I've got one, two, I'm going to change my colours around. Just two colours. So there's three equal parts. Put them together. It's one third red, two thirds blue. Perhaps you could have a go at doing a shape that's a quarter something and three quarters something else. Now, if you're happy with that, you could just pause there and carry on with the video later. But if you would like to go on, I've got something else for you. So, equivalent fractions. This will be your final challenge if you'd like to have a go. So equivalent means it's the same, but written slightly different. So one half is equivalent to, say, two quarters. It's also equivalent to four eighths. You should start to see a relationship between these numbers, and maybe you could tell an adult about them. Okay, one third. Mm, that's an interesting one, isn't it? That's equivalent to two sixths. One quarter. I wonder if you think of something that's equivalent to one quarter. That could be an extra challenge. So finally, I've had a go at making a fraction ball out of Lego. So I'm going to move my iPad over and you can see what I've had a go at. So here, here's my fraction ball, here's my hole. Half plus a half makes a hole. But then also, putting that wrong slightly, should be one quarter. You can see it, I've got a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter. That also makes a whole. Two quarters is the same as a half. These are eighths. Let's separate it up. Four eighths are also the same as a half. Here's another fraction rule. There's my whole, the big red bit. Here's my halves, the grey bits. I wonder what fraction these represent. Maybe you could have a go at building this at home and try and label them. So that's the end of my maths lesson today. Remember, fractions must have equal parts. That's the key part to this. And then that will help you with finding out equivalent fractions. Hope the white rose maths is going really well. And I'll see you soon.